So I was watching a podcast with Pradeep and Paul Lin, and they were talking about a lot of different topics, including the WAL contracts and arm wrestling, whether a businessman should own arm wrestling, like an arm wrestling league, or it should be an actual arm wrestler like Engen, which is one of the reasons why he's so respected, I guess, as an organizer, because he is an actual arm wrestler and not just a businessman, such as Steve Kaplan, who was the owner of the WAL. And then this topic came up of should YouTubers, uh, people who are putting a link to the pay-per-view get some type of reward for people who sign up through that link. And to me, that makes a lot of sense. If you think about it, like people in the fitness industry, they might have a sponsorship through a company and they have like a code, like use this code to buy this product. And I think it's a way to kind of keep track of where the revenue is coming from. I think this is a fantastic idea. And with the sport of arm wrestling growing, ideas like this, I think will start to be accepted and implemented pretty soon. Uh, it's just a matter of the sport is growing in, in a upward direction, absolutely. So let's hear what they said on this. Heavy question up front. But does Core Sport provide a financial incentive for posting their link? If not, I think they should. I talked about Don about giving us and our wrestlers a, a code for their for purchasing the. Paul Lin nodding his head in agreement. And as like just increase, maybe give us a one dollar discount and increase the pay per view price by one dollar already because they need some kind of incentive to enter the enter the code. And so, yeah, I really think there should be with the sport growing. It only makes sense. Like other businesses have like athletes and stuff like that, whether it's a clothing company or a supplement brand or anything like that, where they're promoting the product and they're getting something out of it as well. And it helps everyone grow. It's a way for the whole business, everything to grow in general. Yeah. He said that it is possible. That's a no, that dude, like that, like of your set of solutions that like we talked to some of them prior to me, that's a no brainer. Like, like you said, the only downside is it's a metric to show who actually buys the paper per pay per view because of you. Mm -hmm. I'm a realist. Like, I know <clears throat> if Devin Larratt has a has a, a a promo code, there I don't care how many of my friends and family I call and beg use the promo code. I'm not competing with that. But that's all. I don't necessarily agree with that. I mean, it makes sense. Like. If you think about it in terms of like a clothing brand or something and they have an athlete, if one athlete is super huge on social media, obviously they're gonna get a lot more people using their referral link or their code, but that doesn't mean that other smaller uh, people who are sponsored would also get a, a significant amount as well. I think uh, you know having many people with the referral code can would be a good idea. I, I definitely believe so. Also why Devin gets the big bucks and that's why we need to be real like in the business world and understand that. Engen puts on 12, 12 masks. There are three or four pullers that sell 90%. That's just real, you know? And that's why. That's a, that's a good point, but that's, that's just talking about the athletes. So that's just talking about the athlete who's actually in the competition, whether it be, you know, Devin or Dennis Saplankov or Levon. People hear these big names and these are the legends in our sport. And, they'll probably be much more likely to buy the pay-per-view if one of these athletes are in it. Similar to how in the UFC, if like Conor McGregor or John Jones are on the card, like everyone's gonna wanna buy it because that's a big name. But I think the referral code is more referring to um, people who are promoting the event via social media. They have like a, they have a following, um, which is very standard. Like if you look on Instagram, a lot of big Instagrammers, they have, whether they're in the fitness industry or some type of clothing industry, fashion industry, or even other industries, there's referral codes, sponsorships, and stuff like that. And I think this is going to increase in arm wrestling with the sport growing. It's really been blowing up um, just in terms of views on YouTube channels and different opportunities. Like it seems like there's a new person popping up on YouTube every single day when it comes to arm wrestling. And it's just like, it's inevitable the sport's gonna grow, which is why I think ideas like this will be implemented. I appreciate Angen because he's still so principle driven that he wants all arm wrestlers who are of, you know, that deemed quality to still have the opportunity. But the flip side is we need to do our job too. We need to get on social media. We need to post links. And we need to do this stuff kind of consistently. If we're not, then how are we really pulling our weight? It's hard to accept the pay if you're not doing the work. And the work doesn't just come on the day. So what do you guys think about that? Me personally, I think that's a fantastic idea. And I've referred to it before in this video, like similar to people in the fitness industry or supplement industry. Here's your referral code. And it could be something like, you know, buy the pay-per-view here, use code, blah, 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 whoever it is. And that's a way to track who's actually buying the pay-per-view 
where it's coming from. Um, that person who's promoting it can get some type of bonus or there could be some type of discount for them using it. And each party is winning from that in exchange as far as a business transaction. So I think that would be a great idea. What do you guys think about that? Leave a comment because I think this is a, a topic that is going to be more discussed and like I said, implemented, potentially implemented. I think it's very likely considering just with how much the sport is growing. So let me know what you guys think about this.